good morning everybody today i'm getting back to my workout regimen so that's pretty good after i feed my little man and relax for a little bit i'm so happy to be starting my workout regimen back again so that's totally fine with me and i'm actually gonna be headed off to Publix as well <laughs> Look who's sleeping right there, looking angry. I don't know why he looks so angry sleeping. Since I spent my Easter over with the family and I miss uh, the Atlanta Housewives, I'm watching it this afternoon while Caitlyn is sleeping to go ahead and get up to date because I missed everything yesterday, Easter Sunday. Thank God for the DVR. Hey. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Say hey. Uh, say hey. Sneezy butt. Say hey. Say hey to the camera. Da -da. We're taking a quick stop to Publix. As you can see, we're in the deli section. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. We ready to eat. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The cart will stop suddenly if taking me on the parking lot. What? What? That's so not true. You guys know that, right? I forgot to mention that we're getting our workout on right now, so we're stopping in here to get some subs and me a wrap so I can be on my life and fit thing. You know, team fit. Yummy, yummy sub time. That's a really cool bag. Alrighty guys, so we are back home and I'm sorry to say that, <laughs> this little one's loud in the background, but I'm sorry to say that my phone died in the midst of working out, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly um, how I'm gonna go ahead and calculate my time just now because the phone died in the middle of tracking my time and my calories, so that sucks. But all in all we're home and I worked out and I'm in the process of now cleaning my house and then I'll be settled in for the night so now my plan is to get a shower cuz I sweat it I stink it child good thing you guys don't have smell of vision cuz you would probably agree with me I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and relax for the rest of the evening I'm gonna catch up on the rest of my shows because um, with Housewives of Atlanta it was a pretty good episode I'm glad that a lot of um people mended their friendships so that's good to know um and i still i haven't got a chance to see fashion queens because my box had an issue so um right now i'm just working on trying to uh catch up with the rest of the episodes that i missed of shows that i always see throughout the week and then um that'll be it for my evening so um i'll see you guys when i get out there shower so as you can see we have a banana because it is feeding time for the little one and I'm going to try some self feeding because I've been looking up some videos on YouTube and um, also reading some articles about self feeding versus spoon feeding your child yourself. So I'm going to give it a try plus I want him to start you know getting that pincher effect going get him an early start on it because by the time he's one you should be able to pick up things like you know like this is pincher effect. Anyway, so yeah, get ready, get ready. The banana plate is sitting here because this was a fail. I don't want to show you guys throw up, but <laughs> you saw it for a second because I have to show that he's gagging on it. He's not gagging on the banana so much, but I, he, I swear he gets it from me. I know what it is because I used to take rope and test in. And just from the smell of it, I go, Bleh! and he's doing that. So he likes the bananas in the jar, which I do realize I've tasted it myself is much sweeter. And I'll eat bananas out the jar, you know, baby food jars, quicker than I'll eat a banana. Anyway, I don't like bananas, period. Out the jar, it is much sweeter and nicer and um, obviously more pleasing to the palate. Unfortunately, real banana ain't cutting it. He doesn't want nothing to do with real banana. So I don't know. I'm going to keep trying because I really want him to start getting his pincher effect going, which he's doing this still. And I want him to start learning how to chew and get food down. So I don't I don't know a better way to do this right now. Because he doesn't know how to, to swallow. He's gagging on the food as he's trying to swallow. He doesn't trust it going down. He thinks it's not going to go down. So he goes, Bleh. and I remember... As a child, I had a I had an incident where I choked one time on chicken or something or other, 
And from that point on, I was kind of petrified of food choking me as well. So I'd always have to have a drink on standby. And I'm like eating, drinking, eating, drinking because that was my mental thought of it going down. I'm like, if I have drink, it's going down. So I think in a way that's kind of his thing his gag reflex is on 10 <laughs> it's like really working so therefore he can't get the banana down if you guys know any tips i would love to hear them because i seriously need to be able to get him to eat bananas like or not just bananas eat food period i want to start self-feeding him and for him to feed himself and for him to be able to eat the food and not go every time he thinks he's gonna choke because I, I know he's not gonna choke he, he just thinks he's gonna choke but then again I realized as soon as I went to put the banana to his nose he said Ugh. so maybe he just don't like the banana I don't know give me some tips help me please help me <sighs> that feels so much better I actually feel like a thousand times better that shower did me some good anywho um, right now I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, guys, because honestly, I'm a little tired after that. I could definitely use some sleep. Actually, before we do that, let's go check on my little one. Sleeping like a baby. My man. Good night. Now that I know that he's totally asleep, I guess I can go ahead and call it a night now. And as I always say... It's not just me and him anymore, but it's us with the plus.